Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to illustrate how to import projects using data import framework. First, we need to set up the data import, uh, ex uh, the data import export framework parameters. In this form, we need to specify the shared folder that contain the CSV files. Click Browse, select the folder, then click Save, click Validate, then close the form. The next step is to create a source data format. In the source data format form, enter the source name, uh, description, then uh, select the source type. Uh, I'm going to use uh, file. Okay, uh, in the file format, select delimited. Make sure uh, to select first row header. Then uh, I'm going to change the role uh, separator to comma and the column delimiter to semicolon. Then close the form. The next step is to create a processing group. Uh, in the processing group form, uh, enter the group name, projects, okay, enter description, import, projects. okay, press Ctrl S, then click the entity, entities button. In the entities uh, form, select the project, the project entity. Then select the source data format. Then click generate source file. In the wizard form, click next. Okay, as you can see, uh, the project ID is the only mandatory field. But of course, I'm going to add uh, more fields. Uh, okay, I'm going to add uh, the project name. the project start date and the project group okay the project type okay it's called type here it is okay uh, then I'm going to add the customer account. Okay, then uh, we can uh, generate the sample file. Click the generate sample file uh, button. Go to the file. Click save. Okay. CSV. Sorry. CSV. Make sure to save the file in, uh, in the shared folder. Okay, click save. Okay, replace, close, close the wizard, and close the uh, entities for. Now go to the uh, shared folder, open the uh, CSV file, and uh, start entering uh, the data. Okay. Uh, Row, row one name project project one okay uh, project start uh, date say okay okay after that the uh, project uh, group okay. tm Material. Okay, in the type, just add the material. The customer account is cost two, three, four. Okay. Okay, I'm going to repeat the steps. Okay. Okay. When we, we finish entering the data, close and save. 
Okay, great. Go back to the uh, AX. Go back to AX. Uh, open the processing group for. Go to the entities for. Then select uh, the file path. Okay, go to the shared folder to project. Okay, file. Then click the generate source mapping. Okay, entity mapping is done successfully. Great. Uh, okay, preview. Click the preview source file to see the data. Great. Everything is seem okay. Seems okay. Close the form. The next step is to copy the data from the file to the staging area. Click getting uh, get staging data. Add the description. About the projects. Click OK. Then in the staging data execution form, click run. Click OK. OK. Uh, the seven projects uh, inserted in the staging. Close the info log. The next step is to copy the records from the staging area to the target. Click copy data to target. Select the job ID. Then click OK. In the target data execution, click run. Then click OK. Great. All record was created successfully. To check the result, go to the uh, project uh, management uh, module to the all project form. As you can see, all the records was created successfully. Thank you for watching and see you next time.